Hello, Namaste, Salam Walaikum, Sastrikal, welcome back to another session with your washchef at whatever.com. Today I'm going to make another favorite dish of mine, Vindalu. Usually, traditionally, this dish is made with pork, but today I'm going to use lamb to make this dish. To make this Vindalu, first we need to make the spice mixture. To make this spice mixture, I've got um, red chilies. Here I'm using this uh, big red chilies. These red chilies add more of a color and a very nice flavor rather than hotness. So if you want nice uh, red colored uh, vindaloo, you can add these kind of red chilies. Add a small piece of uh, cinnamon sticks, few pieces of um, clove and a piece of cardamom if you want. Add uh, cumin seeds, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of uh, mustard seeds, few pepper, around uh, six, seven pieces of uh, clove and a small piece of ginger. Add uh, vinegar. Just uh, we're going to let this soak in this vinegar, half a teaspoon of sugar and uh, traditionally they use fenny to make this uh, vindaloo but I'm going to use a little bit of uh, coconut uh, milk. This also gives a kind of a very good effect to your gravy. Add a little bit of coconut milk but if you want to add fenny, even half a cup of wine will add a nice flavor to this. Soak all these ingredients for at least 30 minutes after which make a nice paste out of this. Now to this uh, lamb, what I did is I got the lamb with little bit um, fat on it. That's okay because traditionally this dish is made with pork and uh, I'm today using uh, lamb instead of it. You can just add a little bit salt and also if you want to add any meat tenderizer, you can add. I have a little bit of um, green papaya paste. Let me tell you once again, this is only to make your meat tender and then just mix and uh, leave it for one hour after which we're going to add the chili paste. After leaving it for one hour, you can add uh, this uh, chili paste, what I did. Now you can see how red this is. This gives a very nice uh, flavor to your meat also. If you taste this marinade, it will be like a sweet, sour and a um, lot of spicy. Now let this meat uh, rest for another uh, three, four hours. That's when this all these uh, juices are absorbed by this meat. Then we're going to make this awesome lamb vindaloo. After marinating the meat for almost four hours, I'm going to cook it now. Add two tablespoons of oil. I'm just going to squeeze out the juices a little bit and just add uh, meat to this hot oil. Just uh, let it cook in the oil in a medium flame. Saute this meat for another five minutes. Vindaloo is one of the most misunderstood dish, even by the chefs. A lot of people, what they do is they make a nice red lamb curry in which they add potatoes and they call it lamb vindaloo. Vindalu doesn't mean alu. Vindalu is basically a Portuguese dish which has been Indianized by Govan and they call it Vindalu. Now add um, one small onion, finely chopped. Make sure you finely chop this onion and mix it up. I've got some of this uh, sauce left in my bowl. I'm going to add this also to this now. This already looks like an awesome gravy, but uh, it's going to become a very nice gravy after you cook it. Just cover it up with a lid and let it cook. It's going to take around 30 to 40 minutes to make this uh, dish. Cook it to a point till this meat is tender and this oil oozes out from this dish. That's when this becomes an excellent vindaloo. After 15 minutes, you can see that this uh, meat is cooking. I kept the flame at low, so you can see these nice bubbles coming up. Let it cook in a slow flame for a little longer time. Recently, I was in Goa and I tried vindaloo at three different restaurants and each restaurant had a different kind of flavor, different kind of taste. Usually this is not as red as what I'm showing. It is slightly little yellowish in color. Lot of you are used to eating vindaloo which is reddish in color. So I've used chilies that give more color and less of heat. I thought the meat will be cooked in 30 minutes but it took more than 45 minutes. But look at this gravy. Wow, just awesome. Lamb also cooked perfect. Ah, even with the flavors you can tell this you're cooking something really, really special. Oh my God, oh my God. You got to look at this sauce, wow. What a sauce, what a color. Wow, even the meat is so tender. I am going to have a feast of Govan food today. Ah. 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 Vindaloo is definitely one of my favorite and I'm telling you, all over the world, they go crazy about this Vindaloo, but very few chefs and very few restaurants make this perfect. Dear friends, you have to try this. If you eat pork, you better try it with pork. 
otherwise you can use lamb if you're cooking with chicken make sure you cook this gravy separately then add chicken otherwise the chicken will be cooked and the sauce will not be as cooked but when you cook it with lamb or pork you get the sauce as well as this meat cooked to perfection dear friends i hope you have enjoyed to learn today's session of making vindalu with your washef at vareva.com but remember vareva is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking thank you Thank you.